I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shibby2142, and today we are playing a full gameplay of Battlefield 4 Domination. And I like can't get into the shop to get onto a flag. Anyways, we're gonna be using the 870 MCS shotgun, the M82A3 CQB sniper rifle, and I'll be showcasing some motion balls gameplay. And definitely one topic I want to talk about because they are not anything like, from what I've seen so far, like the Bad Company 2 motion balls, which were pretty much the best reason to play the recon class ever. Yes, the C4 was nice, but the motion balls were just incredible. Today's featured comment comes from Seagriff. He says, I was thinking about this exact same thing last night in Battlefield 3. You can improve your KD and fun so much by realizing when to bail. This comes from the video that I was talking about knowing when engagements have been lost. Knowing when to start an engagement and get knifed right in your heart and knowing when not to be involved in engagement is definitely an important feature of Battlefield. All right, so let us start with some pump shoddy gameplay. One thing I love about this map and domination in general, it's very quick gameplay. Now, if you're looking to level up your weapons and get all those attachments, a lot of people would play the team deathmatch in Battlefield 3. And right now, I think domination is the better version of that because it does involve capping flags and not just running around just looking to kill people. So I think this is probably the best blend and bang for your buck if you're looking to unlock things quickly versus let's say in a conquest or 64 man conquest, sometimes it can be a little slow. That's Battlefield. Sometimes the map is really big, it takes a little bit longer to get to place to place, and that means in my mind that the points that you get are typically slower. So if you're looking to have a higher score per minute, you'll probably be looking to play the maps that are smaller not necessarily bigger in server size, but that'll offer you more chances to interact with enemies and interactions with enemies and teammates cause you to get points. So that's definitely one thing you guys should note and one thing that uh, I'm definitely all about. As you guys know, one of my favorite game types in TF2 is King of the Hill because it's fast paced, it's fun, not very stressful, it's just kind of doing your thing and working on killing people here and there and just having fun and it's just it's just very very exciting so that's something I, I really do enjoy with with game types is when you know i'm okay with things being drawn out here and there or if it's just kind of a longer match you have your vehicles you have to think tactically on positioning and you do some like longer range shooting and engagements where just killing a person here or there will really swing the map one way or another i was like wait i can't i can't even find this guy to shoot try and shoot through this great which I, I've been killed through it before. Maybe it was a fluke or certain bullets can penetrate. I'm not really sure about that yet, but it just didn't work for me and food for thought. I was just really, really, really struggling to get over this barrier and shoot this fine gentleman right in his face. As you see, I just unlocked the slugs for this pump shotgun. For you Bad Company 2 veterans, you might have gotten a little excited in the pants because you're like, well, the pump shotgun plus the slugs basically equaled best sniper rifle in Bad Company 2. If you're ever capping C flag, this is one of my favorite spots, just take note of that. And I believe I've mentioned this in a prior video that that cover can be blown up, so that won't always be there. But I think that's probably one of the best spots to cap C flag because you do have roof coverage. If you notice when you are in that spot, you cannot be shot from the roof from many angles. So that is definitely nice. Anyways, like I was saying with the 870 slug combo, it's very strange. And definitely not what I was expecting when using the slugs. I'm not sure how much different it is from Battlefield 3. I didn't really use the slug combo on the shotguns too much. And that guy was just juking me around. I couldn't see him. And another thing I want to note, while I kind of go on a tangent, just very different directions here and there, is that with all the neon and things going on on the screen right now, if you just look like, oh my gosh, there's teammates everywhere, there's people through walls, it's sometimes really hard to see enemies. I, I just... I struggle in this game, unlike a lot of other Battlefield games in general, where people just really blend in really well, and I just I just don't see them all the time. So I don't know if that's because I'm running graphics. I think these are on like medium slash highish, 
and then I do have some like ultra gameplay here and there recorded on my machinima computer, but my computer at home is not as powerful. Yeah, uh, that's just how it is when, when you have a beast computer at work. It's like you want to play the games at work, of course. As I've mentioned in prior Battlefield 4 gameplays, I find the shotgun very, very powerful right now. And that is because it just works so well on this game type and map in general. Now, if we're playing a huge 64-man map that most people have vehicles and tanks, probably not going to be your best bet. Sometimes just, just not the best shooting ever on my part. <laughs> it, it just It just works. One thing I also really, really like about this game is how the point system, it feels like anything you do really does have a point value. I mean, not like running around just doing nothing, which obviously makes sense because you don't want your teammates doing that. But in terms of spotting people, getting kill assists, if you have a squad kill assist, sometimes it'll count as a kill, which I think is really neat. And in general, just giving you points for a lot of things. For you Battlefield veterans, you are probably used to the Battlefield 2 days where it would be like you get one point or two points for here and there and if you had a 100 or 150 point round that was really good depending on how long the map was back to Karkand etc etc all that good stuff and sometimes it's really hard to see people like I've said that guy was just chilling in the corner there's some really really dark shadows and just, ah I did not play that properly what I should have done is taken the time to ADS but I was still getting the feel of this gun and how powerful it is that just takes everything out. But it doesn't, overall, it doesn't really affect the whole round that much. The map is over, and we won 239-0. Yeah, Chinese, what's going on there? Anyways, guys, that was a full gameplay, some domination, some shotgun gameplay. My name is Shibby. Subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll uh, see you guys next time. Leave me uh, some comments below. Yeah. I'm proven to because I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll watch outside. You guys go in there and test. What if he kills me while we're inside? Just might forget to do. It's very easy. Then we're gonna turn the corner and then turn this into a triple kill. Now, maybe not the best shooting ever on my part. I could ADS here and there.